Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing the 73 questions like from Vogue. I've been seeing this go around a lot on YouTube, well not a lot, but I just thought it was really really cool. I would love to be on a Vogue magazine in my future. I'm really into modelling and like changing the stereotypical model look with these cool brain of columns showing everybody that they can actually be really cool and fashionable. I'm still waiting on my Vogue phone call. Come on Vogue, when's it gonna happen? But in the meantime, I'm gonna answer some of your questions which you didn't want, but I'm gonna do anyway. <laughs> I do firstly want to address, there's a lot of work going on like outside my house, like directly outside my house, and they're just drilling constantly. So yeah, I'm sorry if you hear that a lot. There's literally nothing I can do about it and there's no other day I can film because I'm gonna be a little bit inactive because of some stuff going on in my life, some exciting filming and different things. Obviously, I'm not allowed to say exactly what yet, otherwise I definitely would. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry if that's irritating. It's irritating me too, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Now, let's get on into answering 73 questions. Okay, so question number one is, what is your favorite time of day? And my favorite time of day is dusk. I love dusk so much, like driving at dusk. It's when like the sun's beginning to set. It's just, it's a really pretty time of day and I get like a burst of energy from it. I think it's really pretty. Number two is, what is my biggest weakness? My biggest weakness is probably being a, a people pleaser to be honest i don't care what other people think of me at all but i care to make other people feel good if you know what i mean so i always like i'm a bit nervous and would rather not host things because i always feel like i need to be checking up making sure they're having a good time i feel like that's an extra sense of responsibility for me when it's really not but it does like really get to me when I've got a horse I'm like stressing out about it like oh what if they're not having a good time what if they're bored like it's so stressful for me but that is something that I'm really trying to get rid of probably that I'm definitely a people pleaser and I'm not proud of it <laughs> okay next we have is biggest strength and I did kind of say that earlier I do not care what people think of me whatsoever I just don't care like about your negative opinions no one's forcing you to stay on my page so like if you don't like it leave you know what I mean? I never understand why people have to stick around and leave hate comments because nobody's asking you to stay. So like, just go. Next we have, what is the biggest learning experience I've ever had? I personally feel like the best learning experience ever is just traveling. Um, obviously school's very important and that's where you get most of your learning from. But you just can't compare sitting in a classroom and reading about like history to actually going to a museum or going to the country where it happened, seeing a memorial. Um, I always think like just traveling is such a great like educational form of education. I don't know. What's your idea of a perfect date? My idea of a perfect day um, is probably like just going to the cinema and like eating popcorn. I love going to the cinema or the theatre anyway, so that would probably be an ideal day, like a theatre or cinema experience. Probably not for a first date because you don't talk much, obviously you just watch the film, but it's not all about first dates, it's just the perfect day. And I just like to chill out and watch a movie, um, but I will probably stop crying in most movies, that's usually what happens. Next is one vice that you would want to give up, and to be honest, like, I didn't know what the term vice means, but I've googled it and it seems like a more like bad habit and it's talks, it talks more about like alcoholism and addiction and all this but obviously I'm not addicted so I'm just going to class that as a bad habit and I've got a really bad habit of full on chewing on my lips. It's so bad like I wake up with a new ulcer every day and I take care of my mouth like I brush twice a day it's not a big deal it's not like that but whenever I get an ulcer it's because I've like fell asleep chewing my tongue out. I do feel like my tongue's a bit too big for my mouth and my teeth are a bit too big for my lips. Does anybody else have this problem? Because I would wake up with like an ulcer here, 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 like each corner of my mouth and I always get them on my tongue because I just fall asleep with chewing. It's painful and I really need to stop. I just sit and like eat my lips as well if I'm like bored. I don't know, it's a habit, it's really bad. So I would want to give that up. The next one is a great one and it's a course that is really important to you. 
if anyone knows me it's pretty like i'm pretty sure you could tell it's more about like equality that's the most important cause for me we had like the black lives matter and everything i just feel like everybody in the world should have a chance to just have a normal life and not be judged and there's really not enough activism about that so for me the most important cause is equality having everybody like have the same life like it doesn't matter the color of the skin it doesn't matter your sexuality it doesn't matter if you're missing some hands like just live your life i still can't believe that it's such a big issue in society like just to accept people that really blows my mind but that's probably it the next one i really like it's the best compliment you've ever received and i love social media so much because i'm able to reach out to loads of people who are like me and my ultimate goal is to just get people to love themselves and have confidence in themselves so the best compliment i can ever receive is somebody like dming me or send me a message twitter facebook whatever just saying wow you've given me so much confidence today thank you so much like that is the my favorite message to ever receive it always makes my day because that's what i'm trying to do so the next one is when are you most inspired i know a lot of people say morning i would probably say dusk because we all know i love dusk and get a bit of energy and it always is really annoying whenever i'm trying to go to sleep i'll like feel the need to like so out my life i feel really motivated on mornings once i'm actually up but it's just getting up i feel like a lot of people can relate to that sweet or savory for me it's savory all the way like i could not imagine my life without like good sunday dinner every now and again i could not eat like sweet food for every meal what song can you listen to on repeat um honestly any one direction song ever my top three or right now right now i wish you were here with me i love that one my second favorite is um probably they don't know about us they don't know about the things we do they don't know about i love you that one any One Direction fans, you know what I'm talking about. That is a great song as well. What one thing makes you smile the most? I would probably say my family. I love my family. And the other thing that really makes me happy is just seeing like random acts of kindness in the street and delivering my own random acts of kindness because it's in the name. It's a random act of kindness. It's just really cute. And whenever I see that or like videos of people doing that or do it myself, that makes me really happy and want to smile one thing people don't know about me i think a lot of people think that since i do a lot online and media and traveling and stuff that they don't think i have a great education but i am very academically clever i don't want to sound like oh, yeah i'm so clever but i am very like good academically like i can get good grades i do try really hard as well though the next one is heels flats or sneakers sneakers all the way trainers if you're from the uk which i am so yeah i do love a good pair of trainers vintage or new i would say new i'm all about the future i love the past i love the vintage clothes as well but i'm more about the future three things you cannot live without okay so number one my family all of them um number two my my cats and my pets and my dog so just my pets and then number three is probably my my well not my car i don't own a car but my mom's car because we would honestly be lost without a car window or aisle seat i am a window seat all the way whenever i'm traveling i'm always at the window i just like looking out there it's a bit boring if you're on the aisle i think current tv character obsession to be honest i know we're in lockdown as well but i just i just don't watch that much tv i don't watch netflix too much unless it's stranger things then i'm there um but yeah i don't i haven't really been watching anything currently so i can't really answer that one sorry next we have leather or lace leather of course for leather not about killing animals so for leather for me most adventurous thing you've done uh probably go on a bush trip and waking up at like 4am to go and see animals it was in like south africa so ages away so that's probably the most adventurous thing i've done how would you describe yourself in three words i would say determined friendly and bold not bold bold current favorite piece of clothing i own um i recently went on a little bit of a shopping spree because i've got stuff coming up 
still secret guys sorry about it um but i recently bought like some flares i bought two pairs of flares so i got like zebra print ones and these like black with like orange tie-dye splats i'm not doing it justice with my description but they are really nice and i do find that flares just make my leg look long and my legs are so short but yeah the flares make my legs look as long as they possibly can so that's why i like them next we have is a must-have clothing item for everybody to have i would say fluffy socks what is inspiring you in life right now I would just say like just getting back to it really obviously we've been literally at hermit crabs um for ages now i don't, I don't even i don't even want to say a figure because i've got no clue to me it feels like a year um but yeah i just the fact that everyone's getting back i feel like everybody just wants to try and make the most out of 2020 that they can even though half the year's gone and we've all been stuck indoors so yeah just the fact that everyone's getting back to normal now i want to make the most out of 2020 as possible because there's really not much of it left this one is a great one and it's what's the best piece of advice you've ever received and for me i used to have a motto when i was younger um like because i used to do a lot of things on tv and stuff and be in the media when i was really young fundraising for my prosthetic arms which i wear now and used to wear a lot pricier ones in the past so there was a lot of fundraising needed and i would go up on stage and do different interviews and stuff and people were always like do you not get nervous what the hell you're like performing and doing things on like really big stages talking to like the head ceos of like media companies and you don't get nervous and i used to always just turn around and say well stressing gives you wrinkles so yeah i'm not about that life whereas recently as i've got older um when i was younger of course i was still really really passionate but you're younger you don't really understand exactly what it is that you're doing but it was still like all on my own back i just wasn't as into it because i didn't fully understand everything you know what i mean you just don't understand as much when you're a kid i used to have that motto and it didn't used to phase me as much but now i'm a lot more passionate i'm like yes i want to do this 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 and this when i'm doing things i went through a phase of being really really i would start to get really stressed out about like how i wanted every single presentation every single interview i wanted to be fully prepared and i wanted everything to be perfect i'm definitely a perfectionist um but i think it was like lockdown made me stop to do that and everything and i just sat back and i was like i've been so stressed this year i probably gained a few wrinkles and i was just like you know what no need so the best advice i've ever received is just people saying just have fun with it like it's nothing's got to be perfect i've got on my instagram bio like born to be real not perfect and i need to follow that route in like career as well nothing has to be perfect it needs to be really really real and the best advice i've ever received and had is that to just have fun with things like that's the best thing you can do right the next one is pet peeve and i hope i don't really sound like just this awful control freak of a person but we're sharing pet peeves so my pet peeves is probably very uncommon i hate it when people go like when they yawn but everyone yawns i mean i hate when people yawn and be like I really exaggerate it I don't know what it is it really gets on my nerves a lot of people just do it subconsciously like they don't even realize they're doing it and I don't know why I feel that way but I just hate when people really exaggerate the fact that they're yawning I don't know diamonds or pills I would say diamonds something you notice about people when you first meet them i always get the vibe i feel like you've always got to pay attention to your gut how you feel about this person that's coming into your life if you just don't get a good feeling about this person don't let them in your life because i mean just in my experience when i've trusted my gut it's turned out pretty well for me next is biggest regret and to be honest i don't have a regret yolo living with no regrets um yeah, I don't regret anything that's happened. What is heavily played on your music playlist right now? Um, again, One Direction. Probably can't get enough of them. Favorite board game? Well, my family isn't really a board game family, but if we do play board games, it's not like Monopoly or something like that that takes far too long anyway. Um, but it's more like fun, like uncommon games so we got this one i can't i'm really sorry i can't remember what it's called but you basically had to like scratch a card and like sniff it and you had to pass it around and guess 
what the smell was and they had some awful smells like rotten cheese and everything like that but you just had to guess what it was and it's like more fun things like that rather than sit down and move a character around a board for ages oh and the next question is guilty pleasure to be honest i'll probably say like just doing karaoke on my own at midnight it happens a lot it happens far too much it's probably that but it's, i don't really feel guilty about that what book did you recently finish i recently finished the secret by Rhonda Byrne, I'm pretty sure. I definitely recommend. What book are you currently reading? I'm currently reading The School of Good and Evil. Um, who's it by? Suman Chanani? Yeah, Suman Chanani. How do you start your day? I always start my day with a smile. It sounds really cheesy, but I feel like if you wake up and you just think to yourself, yes, today's gonna be such a good day, it's much better than waking up and thinking, oh my gosh, I've got so much to do today, I'm really not looking forward to it, it's gonna be awful, uh, like, that's just not motivating at all. So if you're doing that, stop, because it's not doing you any justice. Fave holiday, I mean, it wasn't really a holiday, I was there on work, and then we had an excursion afterwards with all the motivational speakers who were speaking with me, but it was probably South Africa because we did a bush trip, I never thought I would get to do a bush trip, and it was really, really cool. It was amazing, so probably that. If you could raid one person's closet, who would it be? Um, Probably, there's this YouTuber, I don't know if people have seen her, but she's got a TikTok account as well that I follow. She's called Nova Rose, and she's just got great fashion to be honest and i want to wear all her clothes and all her outfits or on the other hand we've got zendaya i would zendaya's always got like top fashion so even nava rose or zendaya if you could switch lives with someone for a day who would it be with and um, probably beyonce don't ask me why she's just a boss lady she's a queen so probably her i don't know one thing you've always wanted to try but too scared to i always feel like the idea of like skydiving people always say who like i've done it that it's a lot of fun i will probably never do it ever in my lifetime because it's scary um but if i did i'll be really proud of myself one thing you wish you knew at age 19 obviously i'm 14 so i'm just gonna think what i hope i know at 19 and that is probably that um there's not everyone's gonna like you that's just life everyone's not gonna be like oh my gosh she's so amazing not everyone's gonna be like some people are going to think you're hella annoying and some people are going to have really, really strong opinions and not agree with what you're talking about. But you need to know that you don't let other people's opinions get in the way of you achieving and campaigning for what you think is right. I think I already know that, but I hope I still know that when I'm 19. Besides your phone or wallet, what is a couple of must-have purse items? For me, that would be baby wipes. I don't have a kit, um, but they just come in handy, they come in so handy, like, I don't know, I can't think of a situation where you would need them, but whenever I'm out and about, I'm always like, I need a baby wipe, and it's never there. So, baby wipes, lip gloss, and probably, like, some chewing gum or mints to keep your breath minty fresh. If you were not doing what you're doing now, what would you be doing? Probably owning my own cat cafe, to be honest. Yeah. What is something you can't do? Well... I can't bend my leg, so that's a big one. Where's the best vacation you've ever been? I would say, again, South Africa. I think this is the third time it's coming off. Coming up, it wasn't a holiday, but it was like a really cool experience. One city you've always dreamed of traveling to. My favorite city that I always wanted to visit when I was little was New York City. I have been there. I have a vlog on my channel. I'll put it up here, I think it is. Um, but i've been there now and i can't wait to go again i've got nothing planned to go back there but i really hope to get back there soon because it's beautiful it's just got such a nice vibe about it you know what i mean if you've ever been you like feel the vibe it just feels nice so yeah probably new york city although i have been but i want to go again something you always travel with i always travel with some schoolwork. i'm homeschooled and it's really important for me to stay on top of work whilst doing traveling so i'll always bring some schoolwork with me and i'll always bring my laptop just to do like work on there as well so yeah favorite food is a mashed potato mm -hmm. and my favorite dessert is cookie dough perfect actual perfection love it favorite snack i would probably say either like a satsuma when they're really sour i love when they're really sour not like sweet and watery i like them sour or 
sweet chili sensation crisps because they're beautiful what is a movie that made you cry literally every single movie i've ever watched has made me cry at some point oh it's so annoying like i literally get to the point where i don't even want to sit and watch a movie with my family because i'll literally be sat there in the corner sobbing and it's not even sad even if it's happy or if i'm excited i'll just cry what is your favorite movie of the last five years the greatest showman all the way what's the one talent you wish you had um i was gonna say bend my leg but that's not really a talent is it but i would say like just being able to run really really fast and just be like really really athletic but like to run i would need to fix my leg anyway so you know kill two birds with one stone okay the next one is what's your favorite exercise i don't do too much exercise i really should do some more it's really bad um yeah i solely rely on a high metabolism so i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do when i'm older and that wears out but my favorite thing to do to like i don't know burn some carbs or whatever you call it i literally have no idea um it's probably just dancing i dance all the time I do a bit of just dance and that's always really fun what's your favorite band you guessed it one direction hey what's your favorite fast food order my favorite fast food restaurant is mcdonald's over kfc i just mm, i just not too keen on kfc for mcdonald's i would let you just get like a six chicken nugget meal very plain again i'm really sorry but that's what i get what is something you don't want to be doing in 10 years well something that i don't want to have to be doing is campaigning for equality hopefully in 10 years time i'm gonna be 24 and i don't know i don't know the chances of this coming true but hopefully everybody will be accepting of one another i won't have to do any campaigning for equality because it's already a thing as it should have been like 100 years ago when the world was first formed to be honest um but yeah what is the cutest thing on planet earth newborn kittens what is the best thing that happened this year uh well not a lot of great things have happened this year uh, i would say probably like at least with coronavirus coronavirus is not a good thing not at all do not get me wrong but like it has definitely strengthened the community everywhere i think even like global the global community have become a lot closer because we've had to <laughs> but i feel like in that sense it's been great for great for the world is not great for the world still and it has been good for the environment as well like we've seen like the videos of the dolphins coming to the coast again and it's all really happened because no one's been out there destroying the world and i really need to cut back on my carbon footprint as well it's very important next is what's your favorite cocktail i'm underage but my favorite mocktail like non-alcoholic cocktail that i get on holiday is a san francisco really nice which movie makes you laugh the hardest nothing really kind of sticks at me like oh wow that was such a funny movie um i like jumanji what do you usually eat for dinner anything my mom makes what do you usually eat for lunch maybe like a wrap or sandwich noodles what do you usually eat for breakfast i usually eat waffles with chocolate spread on it not the healthiest but i like it what's your favorite thing in the world my family what's your favorite color my favorite color is red what color do you wear most probably red to be honest i do wear a lot of red and i went like shopping and i've got a lot more red stuff what are three words to describe living in the area that you're living in um quite boring nothing really happens here uh but it is cozy and so boring cozy and green i would say i've got like a massive field literally on my doorstep so yeah it's very green and it's very fresh and i love that about it do you like surprises i actually don't i really don't like surprises um i just i don't know what reaction i never know what reaction people are like expecting or looking for when a surprise i'm always just like sat there i don't know what to do with my face i don't know what to say so i'd rather just it like be planned out i don't i'm not a huge fan of surprises just because i feel like there's an expectation on what i should do and how i should act and i hate to like not deliver that if you know what i mean what's one thing you had to learn the hard way um that you can lose your hands at any moment in time um if you're ever feeling like not grateful or anything you really need to always leave things on a positive note don't ever leave somebody on like bad terms like an argument because you never know what can happen the following day or even a couple of hours later like i nearly died in the space of 24 hours so 
obviously i didn't die but i did have to learn that by experiencing that and um, so yeah probably that and now i always live each day to the fullest because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow and that's something i urge everybody else to understand and take on board in their own little life journeys who do you turn to when you're sad i don't rely on a lot of support from other people i'm very independent so honestly if i'm upset about something i will sit for a minute i'll like sit outside and like take a few deep breaths and give myself a pep talk talk to myself about it if i'm really upset and i need like help of it then i will go and say my to see my mom my dad like my grandparents anything like that but to be honest i just don't like i don't really like talking about my feelings too much i don't feel any bad feelings but i i'd rather give myself therapy than get it from anybody else if you know what i mean but i don't really need therapy at all it's not like you don't need to worry about is what is a trend you would like to see disappear forever feeling quite offended because on the vlog that i'm reading it says the other person responded with those ugly chunky platform sneakers which I wear a lot, <laughs> but whatever, I don't care, to be honest. And um, the thing, I don't know, I'm not, like, too on board with trends. My mum definitely is. Like, she usually, like, predicts the trend before it's in, which is really weird. I actually really don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. What did you want to do with your life at age 12? I wanted to be an architect. And that's it. That's all the questions answered. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you were able to get to know me in some way <laughs> i'm not really sure um but i really enjoyed answering these questions vogue if you're watching i'm ready and waiting for your phone call i'm here for it like i'm gonna say yes you don't even need to worry um yeah contact me <laughs> anyway make sure to like comment and subscribe if you like the video leave any video suggestions down below as i said i'm gonna be away for a little bit so i think it's gonna be like maybe two videos that i'm gonna miss just know i'm doing exciting things yeah just leave any video suggestions below so that i can come back to and really brainstorm on what videos that i can push out for you guys to make up for it and um, but make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all whenever i upload the next video